Hey everyone. So, I'm going to do a tag. Uh, Glitzy Fritzy, which is Mary, had done this tag and she said, you know, I tag, she didn't, I don't know if she tagged anybody specifically. She didn't tag me, but she said, if you want to do it, do the tag. I thought this was cute and I've seen it before. So, let's get started because there is 13 questions. So, it goes, never have I ever, number one, had a spray tan. No, I have never had a spray tan. Been interested in doing a spray tan, but I self-tan. And I actually bought my Bare Minerals Faux Tan. Comes in a huge bottle with a brush. And I don't faux tan like I used to. When I was younger, I would do it, you know, three or four times a week. And that's when it kind of starts looking fake. So, um... For me, I do it like once a week in the summer, just so I don't look so super pale, but I don't have to either, I don't have to change like foundation, I don't have to, you know, I could just bronze up a little more if it's a little dark or whatever, but, but I've never had a spray tan. Uh, never have I ever slept with makeup on. Well, if I have, I was a teenager, because... Once I hit my 20s, like I told you, even in my addiction, I'd stop in, you know, in the middle of it, if, especially if I was at my, ha my house, and wash my makeup off. So, yeah. I get, and I get pretty insane when people, like friends of mine, would, I could tell they didn't wash their makeup off. I'd be like, oh my god, you didn't wash your makeup off. Uh, never have I ever dyed my hair a crazy color. Well, uh, when I was in high school, before I went to hairdressing school, I decided to use a lightener. Uh, when I was born, I had, like, what they considered dirty blonde hair. So, like, in the summer, and it was long, and in the summer, it like, around the hairline would get that, like, really blonde looking. And so, I guess I was looking for the blonde, not white, but, like, that yellow blonde look. So I, of course, didn't read the directions, and lighteners, you're supposed to put on the ends first, and then the roots, because the roots process faster because of the heat of your head. So I plopped it on, and it was not pretty, and I had to let it grow out. Terrible. And never have I ever spent over $100 on makeup at once, seriously. Uh, every VIB sale, usually, is over $100. But I justify because I get the 20% off. But, yeah. Uh, never have I ever worn red lipstick to work or school. No. Um, I very rarely will do dark lips um, for, you know, for work. Only because I wouldn't want to have to worry about it getting all over the place. So, I mean, I've done darker lip lipsticks... But like a red, no. Never have I ever left the house with a notable, a noticeable foundation line. Um, maybe when I was younger, but I always bring my color down anyway, and I have been for years. So if I did, it was when I was younger. This is a good one. Never have I ever lost a false lash in public. Um, and uh, you know I wear false lashes. No, and if it starts to come up, I'll take it off. I'll take both the lashes off. Like, if I, I don't carry the glue with me, not usually. So, never have I ever cut my own hair. This is my masterpiece. Um, I t I've been cutting my own hair for... I want to say, like, eight years. Uh, yeah, the back is hard to do because, you know, just cutting your own back of your hair, but... The thing is, my hair is naturally curly, so even if I screw it up with naturally curly hair, and I always leave it curly, you really can't see it as bad. But yeah, and it's weird because, like, after I cut it, I wash it and style it, I can feel where I need to do a little more trimming. It's very in tune with my hair. Uh, never have I ever bought a product for its packaging. No. Uh, I am not drawn in by packaging, because that's what you're probably paying for, that or the name. I want the product to work 
that's inside. So, for me, you know, I like pretty things, but for me it doesn't matter if what the packaging looks like. It really doesn't. As long as the product works. Uh, never have I ever used rollers on my hair. Yes, when I was younger, I used to use the spongy, the pink spongy rollers that clipped over. And then, of course, as I got older, I used hot rollers. Never have I ever overplucked my brows. They used to be a lot thicker. But you know what? I also do feel like, um, I don't have to pluck them as much as I used to when I was younger. So I do feel like they, once you hit a certain age, it's like what you see is what you get and what you're stuck with. So, and I don't, if anything, I will just color them in more so than adding, because I don't like to, to add too much to my brow so it looks like a fake brow. Never have I ever got plastic surgery. Really? Um, no. And if I was to get plastic surgery, that is what I would get done, my eyes. Um, I, you know, the hoods don't bother me, but this does. Not to the point of when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh my, that's all I focus on. No. But it's hard when somebody will say to me, you look really tired. And it's like, but I'm not. You know? Um, and I know people that get puffy eyes from allergies or not enough sleep, but it goes away. This, these never go away. So that's what I would have plastic surgery on if I was going to, you know, go for it. And the last one is, never have I ever got my makeup done by a professional. Here's a story. Shocking, huh? Oh, we got time. <laughs> so, let's see. I want to say like four... Yeah, probably about four years ago. I was trying to decide uh, what to get Pete for Valentine's Day. So, it had come in my mind to look and see about boudoir shots. Now, there was another reason why I did it, though. And this was really the main reason. And then giving Pete it as a gift was like a bonus in my mind. Um, tell you, I am a work in progress. I have always hated pictures. I mean, from the time I was little. I mean, there's a picture of me and my brother. I must have been one. And there is, like, tears in my eyes taking a photo. Uh, I remember my father's friend coming over when I was probably, like, four or five. And my mother having to distract me for him to take my pictures. I have always, always hated taking a picture. I just hate, I mean, uh, when I was drinking, it was a different story. I jump into people's, you know, pictures I didn't even know. But, um, finally I said, you know what, this is the best way to get over yourself. You need to get over yourself. You're 40 years old, like, really? It's a picture. So, um, this guy over in New York City was running a special food food boudoir shots and they were all over the country. I didn't realize how popular, you know, they had become. So, um, you got two ten by sixteens, I think. I don't know. I think it's something like that. They're pretty big. Now if you look at my face shot to my Instagram, to this is part of the picture that I had gotten taken that day. So, I don't know New York City. Um, Pete's niece does. So, I had emailed her and uh, her girlfriend at the time and said, and I was friends with her girlfriend. Her girlfriend at the time loved makeup. So, I said, would you come with me because I have no idea where to go, what to do. And they said, no problem. So, you know, went over to the city they told you to bring whatever you wanted, and then they'd go over with you how to, they were going to do the shots. And so um, we had to go to this basement, and I'm like looking around, like, hmm, you know, in New York City. And here walks in the photographer, remind me of like Iggy Pop. They had black nail polish on, 
real skinny, but it was weird. Instantaneously, I felt comfortable with him. So he had me looking through um, different magazines, what kind of shots I wanted to do, how I wanted to do them. Talk to me about things he didn't want, I didn't want focused on. Um, I mean, he was really in depth, asked a lot of questions. And then, you know, like you had your own hair done. But he had a Mac, look, the girl used to work for Mac. So that was a lot of fun. That's how I found out what coloring I was. She was so helpful. And I had, she applied false lashes, and she had asked, like, what kind of eye look? I said, you know, I kind of want a smoky eye, which she did, and, um, and then, like, the rest of the day, like, we went into the room to shoot, and it was, like, a fake bed, and it was funny because this guy's wife stayed in the room, but so did my friends. They must have been bored out of their minds. And then, you know, you could play your own music, and, um, I had brought, like, a long night shirt, a silky long night shirt, and then like a lingerie outfit. You know, however you wanted. If you didn't want to be pic pictured in clothes, you didn't have to be. Like, he was like, whatever you want. But I have to tell you that, you know, you think like a model, eh, you know, they, they have it easy. And no. I was exhausted. It's like, you know, he kept telling me, because I was like this. He's relaxed your eyebrows. After a while, I was like, you know, because I'm like, really? Stop with the, the eyebrows. Then, um, you know, how you placed your hands. Like, I didn't think that, you know, put your hand this way, put your head that way. But he just, the angles of the shots, and it was so funny, I did that on a Sunday. The next morning, he emails me and says, okay, you can pick two. One, I will Photoshop for you. And the other one, I won't. <clears throat> so, he sends me all the pictures, and he's, I looked at them, and I emailed him back. I said, did you Photoshop these already? He's like, no, why? I'm like, they look too good. So he's like, no, you know, you got to pick. So, I did get over my thing with taking pictures. I don't go like, you know, that whole scenario that goes along in your head. I don't do that anymore. Um, a boudoir shots for everybody? Probably not. But I guarantee your significant other would be very, very happy. Um, you know, mine was done very tastefully. And he was a professional, did beautiful work. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I had a lot of fun. I would do it again. Like, that's how much fun I had. That's how much I think it was worth it. I would definitely do it again. So, yes, I have been <laughs> had my photograph taken by a professional. So, since I just rambled for five minutes, thank you all so much for watching my rambling. And if you haven't done this tag, I tag you to do this. Thank you all so much for watching again, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.